in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, ensuring the safety and reliability of the network is paramount. Joining me to talk about this topic and more is Scott Calzia, Vice President of Marketing at HPE Aruba Networking. Scott, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Clarence, pleasure to be here. So what are some of the biggest secure connectivity challenges facing telcos and their partners today? Well, you'd probably be surprised of hearing me say this, but innovation. Innovation is really one of the, the things that can uh, have an impact on the security uh, parameters of any type of organization. As we look around the event, there's a lot of talk around AI. That's one of the biggest uh, innovations we've had in many decades of the industry. Now with AI, in order for it to work properly requires a lot of data. And of course, customers are very concerned about protecting that data. So what we've seen is really a resurgence of the network as part of AI, because the network is really responsible for collecting, securing, transporting, and delivering that data. Now, what we've done within HP Aruba Network for many years is security is really paramount. It's integrated. It's part of the networking uh, piece. So we are really focused on that. Now, one of the things we've looked at is that security itself is kind of a patchwork. Over the years, there's been a lot of of security implementations, different vendors, different ways of securing different parts of the network. So that has become a challenge. What we're focused on is integrating that security within the network itself and making it really part of the network. Kind of a third thing that's a challenge for customers and for the telcos is uh, a skill set. Uh, over time, we've seen the maturity of IT staffs. Uh, we're starting to see that some of the IT positions are going unfilled. The skills are not there. So one of the challenges that all customers and telcos in particular face is ensuring that there is some automation that goes with security because that skill set is kind of declining. As we see by, by 2030, we're going to start to see uh, that about one third of the open uh, positions will, not, will go unfilled. So how does having a security first AI powered network help telcos really serve their customers? Well, so there's four things that they really have to consider. One is the visibility of that. They're getting uh, security information from a lot of different sources. So part of what HP Aruba Networking does is we collect telemetry information, security telemetry information from not only the networking devices, but also the devices or the end user devices that are connected to the wired infrastructure, the wireless infrastructure, the wide area infrastructure, the users that are using them. And so we have a single source of truth coming from all of those different users and all those different devices. Now with that, we can define a single global security policy. Uh, and from there, we can enforce that security po policy across what we call the edge to cloud. So it doesn't matter whether that security policy has to be enforced for users that are connecting to the wireless infrastructure, or if they're connecting into the wired, or if it's data that is flowing through the data center network, uh, that's all part of the same policy. Now with that, in order to be very efficient and to reduce the amount of time, you have to have some type of automation that goes with that. So that's where kind of again, coming full circle, AI comes back into play. Uh, with that, uh, those advanced techniques, we can actually recognize uh, various types of security breaches or be proactive about those and protect the network and the infrastructure as well as the users and devices from those in advance. So what are some of the innovations that Aruba is showcasing here at MWC? Uh, we have many different things. You can see over in our booth uh, that there's a lot of things going on, but a few of the things that, uh, that we are showcasing. So one, uh, a product we call Client Insights that is part of our central services platform. Client Insights has the ability to device profile. So it's actually looking at the devices that are connecting into the network and it's being able to make a determination on what kind of device that is. Is it a, a, an iPhone device or a smartphone? Is it a tablet? Is it an IoT device? What kind of IoT device? Is it a camera? It's important that we recognize and accurately determine what those devices are because that's where a lot of security breaches start is from IoT devices, uh, something that is pretending to be something other than it is. Client Insights can actually predict or actually understand that device to 99% accuracy. Now with that, we have other uh, products as well. So SD-WAN is uh, uh, one of the products that we have. It's called our HP Aruba Networking Edge Connect platform. It actually is enabling uh, the ability for users to connect remotely or through remote sites. 
It eliminates branch routers and remote locations, et cetera. With that, we have tied in what we call Secure Access, Secure Edge, or SASE, as the industry calls it. Uh, one of the new things, at least since last May, May of 2023, when we acquired Access Security, we've now implemented uh, SSE into our portfolio as well. So we have a full-blown SASE or Secure Access, Secure Edge uh, solution. Um, also, as part of, I mentioned Central before, as part of Client Insights, but Central itself, a services platform. That's where we're actually collecting a lot of the network telemetry, we're collecting information on the users and the devices, uh, so customers can look at that. They have the visibility, uh, or even I could, I could venture to say observability of security uh, within that environment. Plus, a lot of the AI capabilities are built directly in the central platform. How should a telco go about using a zero trust architecture to help keep their customers secure? Yeah, so we didn't talk much about zero trust, but zero trust is really a paradigm. That is kind of the goal that all security teams are striving for, ensuring that any users or devices will allow them to connect, but we're not gonna trust them initially. They actually have to log in with the right credentials. IoT devices, that's where the client uh, insights becomes important again, because they may not have the credentials to log in. You've got to understand the type of device that it is. Is it following the right parameters? So zero trust is a paradigm. It's not a product. Uh, and it has to be continually uh, looked at, updated, and modeled. So what telcos and customers should do, they have to make sure that they are implementing that. They're implementing across all parts of their infrastructure, whether it be the campus, whether it be the branch, whether it be the data center environment. Uh, and they have to make sure that they're working with or they have to make sure that they're networking and the security people are working closely together to ensure that they're coupling that so that we're maintaining connectivity for the best user experience, but we're following that paradigm of zero trust and ensuring that we're not trusting until verified. Scott, it's great information. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you, Clarence. Enjoyed it. Take care.